Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today, Wavy's 10 and the Yang Yang have dropped a music video and song low low. 10 has been one busy boy. It's literally like what, yesterday? <laughs> then he dropped Paint Me Naked. I know it wasn't yesterday, I know it was last week, but you get you get what I mean. Time has gone by very quickly and it feels like uh 10 is everywhere suddenly. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. Uh the the the, the, the man is blessing us with the content, but good lord. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway, yeah, super excited to get into this and see what the boys uh, are bringing for this song and the vibes and what it's all going to be like. So let's get into it. Now, if memory serves, they dropped teasers for this or a teaser for it. I don't know if there was multiple. I think it was just the one. I need to sneeze. Mm, okay, it's gone. It's fine. Uh, yeah, they dropped teasers for this. I saw the teaser images. They look great. It looks very bright and very colourful that could mean so many different things. I don't know what kind of vibe we're going to be set up for because I didn't watch the video teaser, so I have no idea, song-wise, Envy, like, what it's actually going to look like. All I know is that the guys themselves look great, and I'm excited. So, you know, going in blind, as per the huge, uh, let's do this. So, Wavy, 10, and Yang Yang, low, low. Let's do this. 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Hey, okay. Okay, I'm I'm into it. I'm into it. You better get it, young guy. Hey, okay. <laughs> I gotta live in for this, okay. Oh, that. That. That, like, flute song. Hey. Let's go. Okay, that line, that line is way too catchy. I want to go through this again so I can talk about this instrumental more. Oh no, it's so catchy! That sound, that like... It's some kind of woodwind sound, like I want to say it's like a flute, but like a pan flute kind of sound, but I don't know, but it sounds so cool. Hey, let's go. The yellow suits, kind of, kind of, kind of a vibe. Hey. <laughs> I've noticed this become more and more common. I mean, with good reason, like it's completely understandable, but like, especially with songs that have dropped this summer. Ooh. Oh, let's go. I'll talk about what I was going to say in a, in a minute. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what I was gonna say, I've noticed this. Like, it's it's. Hang on. Let me get my brain in gear. That was an under two, three minute song. Wild. I was so in it. I did not realize how quickly that went by. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So. More and more regularly, and like I said, it's completely understandable as to why. But more and more regularly, and especially across this summer, I've noticed more and more songs be like, like you can just feel that they're gonna be a trend on TikTok. <laughs> like there's been a, there's been a, several songs that have dropped recently where I'm like, oh, 
this is gonna this is gonna do numbers on TikTok. Like I can just feel it. Like it just has that kind of vibe and that kind of energy that people are gonna gravitate towards and wanna do like um like TikTok trends and, and you know little cover dances and stuff like that. And like I can just feel I feel that energy radiating off of this song and I love it. Like I'm not saying this in a bad way by any means. I think it's great, it's super fun, it's super catchy, it just makes me laugh. Like every so often, like I'll just be listening to a song or like, you know, reacting to a new release and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can already tell this song is gonna <laughs> be like making the waves on TikTok and it's gonna be great. But yeah, that's that's just a random little note. Um, but no, I loved that. That was so poppy and bright and fun. Like I said, I went into this blind. I didn't know what to expect from the sound or, or anything. I kind of like, based on the teaser images that I saw, I thought it was gonna be something a little bit on the brighter side, just because those pictures were so colorful and you know, all of that sort of stuff. Like it gave you that kind of summary feeling, but that was super super fun so catchy i'm gonna have that hook going around and around and around and around and around, and around in a loop on my head that instrumental like i said i want to go through it again because i want to talk more about this instrumental because there was just so much so many little details in there so many little sounds that they were using that like took this kind of song that you could call like you could say that like there are elements of this song that lean into like a more generic kind of pop sound um and pop style like in the lyrics themselves and the melodies and stuff like that but because of the way it's been produced there's like these extra little details that just make it so unique and fun to listen to like you're not just listening to a song that you've heard 10 other times on a, on the radio or whatever um like there's something very fresh about this and i really really like it anyway yes let's go through it again I'm going to turn the lyrics off because they distract me and I don't really need them because it's in English. <laughs> don't keep my love under the low. Yeah, so right off the bat, right off the bat, this like opening sound, I really love the echo on it. Like that echo just gives it such a nice, I don't know, expansive feel. I don't know. Don't keep my love under the low. And this. I'm gonna keep pointing it out <laughs> like I didn't fully notice it until later down the line in the song but I'm gonna keep pointing it out this this sound I want to say it is some kind of flute like it kind of sounds like a pan flute or something like that but it's almost a little bit lower I don't know if maybe it's been pitched lower or if it's just a different instrument I have no idea but it sounds so cool and it really gives it that kind of like a like tropical summery feeling um you know what I mean? And I, I love those kind of sounds anyway. I'm a big sucker for flute sounds, especially when it leans into that more pan flute area. Um, I absolutely love that kind of sound. And I just love that as a little detail um, and extra texture in the instrumental. I think it's so nice. You can throw me like a yo-yo, but I promise I won't let go. If you don't trust me by now, tell me right now, what can I do just to keep you around? That, that percussion coming in there is really interesting as well. Like it's 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 like slightly distorted. Oh, I gotta I gotta talk about this as well. I haven't really talked about the guys themselves that much yet. I was gonna get to it later, but I'm gonna like start now. The vocals in this song hit. Ten went off. He did he did the damn thing on these vocals, and I'm I I, I love him for it. Um like yang yang immaculate as well like they both did so good they sounded so good they were so fun to watch like they're excellent um but yeah these these vocals coming out of turn were a plus but yeah this this percussion there's like a distortion on it it's it's hard but it's cool oh, that vocal mod that vocal mod yeah, I don't know if I am coming down with a cold or if it's just my allergies, but oh my god, my sinuses today. Anyway, yes, that vocal mod, glorious. I love it. I love how it drops you down into the... drops you down in the song and then... Oh! That... That that sound accompanying the 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 the, the melody is so nice. There it is. Hey. I'm obsessed with that line. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that line. I don't know what it is. Like, there's something about that line. I feel like, like, 
That's a line that some people are gonna think is way too cheesy and some people are gonna love. I'm on, definitely on the side of loving it. I'm kind of obsessed with that and that's gonna be the line that when I'm listening to this song in my car, when I'm walking the dog, whenever, that's gonna be the line that I, I have to sing along with. You know, every so often we have, there's, a, there's a song that will come out and I just... There's like one line that I have to sing out loud. <laughs> And this is going to be one of them. I love it. It's just so great. Oh, I love that sound. And there's that flute sound again. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love the choreo, man. That melody as well is super pretty. That melody is so pretty. Oh, the, that deeper tone. Hey. There's something about this that reminds me of, like, uh... Like, stuff that would come out in the like mid to late 2000s. Like, there's something about this that feels kind of nostalgic to me. Like, this is something that I might have heard when I was a kid, you know? Or like, like my earlier years in school. Like, this, this, it's... It almost... This is a really weird association because the songs sound nothing alike, like absolutely nothing alike. But just in terms of the vibes, <laughs> the vibes and the energy, let me just double check the title because I will get the title wrong. Or oh, the, the group name rather. No, 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 that is the group name, it's the title. Um, but do you guys remember the song uh, Here In Your Arms by Hello Goodbye? Um, I don't remember where it, when it came out. Yeah, it came out in 2005. Um, there's something about the vibes of this. Like like I said, the songs themselves sound absolutely nothing alike whatsoever. But just something about the vibe and the energy of it reminds me of that song. And I think that's where that nostalgic feeling is coming from. It's very cool. Anyway, continue. It, I love the body roll. Hell yeah. I really, really love. This is another detail as well that I really love is the the cymbal taps. It sounds like just little taps on a hi hat. Again. Really nice texture to the instrumental. I love how this song is produced. Like, <laughs> you ever hear a song and you're just like, oh, that's just a really good pop song. <laughs> like, that's just like a really good pop song. This, this. I mean, the vocals. <laughs> They're so cute. And this vocal mod just like continuing to echo. It's so much fun, I love it. Oh, Yaya's hair looks so damn pretty. Hey, let's go! They, they look like they're having so much fun. And I love that. That was honestly excellent. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Like, a lot. <laughs> Like, I went into this video, I didn't know what to expect. And I'll be honest, like, there's a few things that have dropped, uh, dropped this morning. Um, well, my time this morning. Um, and, like, 
out of the things that have been released this morning, it's probably the one that I was like the least looking forward to. I was still excited for it, don't get me wrong, but like in comparison to the other stuff that's dropped, um, they were kind of like higher on my priority list, I guess. To the point where I almost didn't check this out this morning. Um, because I'm kind of like, like I said, my sinus is playing off. I'm kind of a little bit uh um my door just opened. That is creepy. <laughs> it's probably my dog. Uh but yeah, no, so like I yeah, I'm just I wasn't really feeling all that great. Um and I wasn't sure if I actually wanted to check this out or just save it and wait. But I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad <laughs> I watched and listened to it, because that is just that's just pure serotonin right there. That was so fun and bright and poppy and I absolutely loved it. They did an amazing job. Anyway, that brings us to the end of that one. Um, let me know what you guys thought of it. Would love to hear your, your respective thoughts. Um, and yeah, I will end this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.